And we're going to start off with a great leader. Uh, Pete Newell is a nationally recognized innovation expert whose work is transforming how the government and other large organizations compete and drive growth. He's the CEO of BMNT, an internationally recognized innovation consultancy and early stage tech accelerator that really helps solve some of the hardest real world problems in uh, national security, state and local governments and well beyond. Uh, it was founded in Silicon Valley, but BMNT has expanded well outside of Palo Alto to Washington DC, Austin, uh, the UK and also Australia. Uh, and Pete is a founder and co-author with, uh, with Lean Startup founder, Steve Blank, who's actually gonna be speaking a little bit later. Uh, have, he's also helped start Hacking for Defense, an academic program taught at 47 plus universities in the US, as well as universities in the UK and Australia. And this really focuses on solving national security problems, uh, which has morphed and kind of evolved into other offerings around hacking for diplomacy, hacking for oceans, hacking for sustainability, hacking for local, amongst others. So some really great and strong programs. And this H4X framework has been uh, kind of pivotal in creating a framework to solve critical real world problems. Um, so this kind of correlates directly into deep tech. So I uh, would love to now pass it off to Pete. And um, then after Pete, we'll get into uh, some additional content for the rest of the day. So thank you so much, Pete. Take it away. Yeah, thanks so much, Patrick. I appreciate the intro and uh, and obviously the, the the invite to talk to such a great group. I, I have a, an incredible affinity for the the types of folks that that gather into a room like this. The, yeah, obviously we started BMT as a uh, <laughs> a four person company in a driveway in Palo Alto in 2013. And, and literally worked without an income for the first two years. Spent three years attempting to determine what the real uh, product or service that, that BMNT was gonna, um, gonna do before um, coming to an understanding of what the real gap was in the defense innovation space, which which in our mind really was um, helping the government better find and articulate its problems, build distinct groups of people around those problems, the pathways by which they could actually deliver a solution um, to the problem before the problem had changed so much that, that it is no longer real. Um, it was you know, 2015 when when by a stroke of, of serendipity that Steve Blank and I met and had an opportunity to combine the, the problem sourcing and curation methodologies I was using in Afghanistan to, to get problems off the battlefield and the lean methodology and the fantastic process of discovery that that we combined into what eventually became the innovation pipeline, which was simply helped us define how you source, curate, discover, incubate, and transition new technologies and deploy them to answer real problems. What we've learned over the past uh, five years of employing that pipeline is the Although folks focus on what's coming out at the end of the pipeline, we found that there are major issues on this end, where the pools of available ideas and people and problems don't exist to an extent that allows you to very rapidly bring them together, um, build a, a constant pool of, of ready uh, things to launch as you discover the problems, and then in between each of these steps, we found that, that we were missing the, the data, real data that allowed us to take innovation activities and actually string them together into a distinct pipeline that helped people make decisions about what they would actually invest in or not invest in. Um, 
So today, you know, starting from that that four person company back in 2013, um, BMNT is a 70 person company sitting on three continents that uh, literally sources thousands of unique problems from across the Department of Defense, uh, the intelligence communities, and, and even from uh, large commercial uh, businesses. We have continued to look for opportunities where there are issues in this pipeline. Um, uh, for instance, in 2015, 2016, we discovered that we, we lacked the opportunity to take advantage of the fantastic talent that was in our universities uh, working on things to get bright young minds engaged in, in national security issues. And we launched a program called Hacking for Defense. You know, Hacking for Defense today is uh, a college course that's taught in over 50 universities across the United States. Uh, another 20 in Australia, uh, a couple, or another 20 in the UK, uh, and a couple in Australia this year. But, but that same class, class has spawned its own follow-on activities in diplomacy, uh, energy, climate, in any place there are really complex problems where the ideals of entrepreneurship and really bright young minds in, in academic settings with access to research can come together with these fantastic ecosystems that we're building in places like this and actually validate that we we're working on the right problem and that we can validate a pathway by which to deliver a solution and then incubate that solution to a point where it will be delivered you know, down the road. H4X Labs, the, the organization at BMT led by, by Ellen Chang is a natural extension of that effort as we found that our student teams and the internal accelerator teams in, in large government organizations, after they went through this really disciplined process of discovery, still needed access to coaching, mentoring, uh, advisors to help them turn their ideas and their MVPs into real products, and in many cases in real companies to actually launch them to where they were viable investments, both from the government standpoint and from, uh, from a commercial standpoint. Um, H4X Labs was then followed by our understanding that there were lots of investors, both from the venture capital world, from private equity, and, and even private capital, who were interested in what we would consider these mission-driven companies, companies that actually solved the, the emerging problem of our time that, that had a potential to actually make the world a better, safer place. We launched the Defense Investors Network as part of the H4X Labs is an opportunity to give those investors to engage in the conversation early on with, with not just the company, but also with the government. This session is, is, is once again, uh, a natural extension of our desire to provide the opportunities to connect people, ideas, problems, and technologies and actually um, curate those opportunities to deliver something to this ecosystem that shows the promise for being able to accelerate a solution to really hard problems. Returning all the way to our roots of the challenges we had in building a large enough um, pool of people and technologies and ideas to collide early on that would give us the first test that we had something worthwhile of curating starts in activities like this. So it's, uh, I'm excited to have the opportunity to somewhat return to our roots and go back to, to creating opportunities like this to bring a much more diverse crowd in, but also to dig deeper into the emerging technologies that truly will have to accelerate uh, to answer some of the, the toughest problems that our country um, faces.